What is microorganisms? They are also known as microbes. It is living organism of microscopic size and can only be seen by a microscope. Microorganisms can be unicellular such as bacteria, archaea, protozoa, unicellular algae, and unicellular fungi. And they can also be multicellular such as algae and fungi. What are the benefits of microorganisms? First, they are used to make food. Bacteria, yeast, and fungus are used in processing food and fermentation. They are used to make wine, beer, yogurt, cheese, and delicious bread. Microorganisms are also important for human microbiota. Trillions of microorganisms live in human body and helping with your digestive system. They produce vitamin K, digest excessive substance, and also detoxify harmful chemicals. The third benefit is sewage treatment. And aerobic bacteria are used in wastewater treatment to supply us with clean water. They are used to reduce large volume, to remove phosphorus from the water, and produce usable methane gas. Biotech and research Microbes have diverse metabolic potentials and are able to be manipulated, making them perfect for research. They are used as medium for gene engineering, producer of enzymes, antibiotic and protein, and test subject for new substances. Decay Decaying is a crucial part of life. Decomposes bacteria, disintegrate waste, maintain the nitrogen cycle, and maintain carbon cycle. Microorganisms are also harmful. They cause diseases. Bacteria, virus, and fungus cause diseases for human, animal, and plants. Decay. Decaying also have the bad side. Some substance perish too quickly, causing loss, like food, plants, flower, and timber. Contamination. Various microorganism contamination can cause sickness, loss, and damage, such as contamination of water, contamination in the food industry, and also contamination in a lab culture. And that is a bit about the beneficial and harmful microorganisms around us. Thanks for watching. See you next time.